WHSE Radio. I'm Aisha. I'm here with my guest, Bridget. She's my best friend. <laughs> so, Bridget, who's on your lock screen? <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I love Drake, and I came to school loving Drake. <laughs> um, I, me and Bridget have been getting like closer over the years, and I've learned that she loves Drake too. <laughs> so, much. guess who we're gonna be talking about? <laughs> Drake. Um, so, do you remember when you first started listening to him? The first time I saw him, it was actually in Degrassi, oh. and then afterwards, when the show was like, it's still going on, but then mm -hmm. after, like, he left the show, mm -hmm. so he started working on his music, and that's when I finally heard him. So, like, did you like him right away when he gave his music a chance, or was it, like, something that took some time? No, instantly. Like, mm -hmm. his voice just has something in it, like, that you just want to keep listening to him. <laughs> uh, what made you continue listening to him? Um, the first song I ever heard from him, it was the best I ever had, <laughs> and I just fell in love with the song, and then afterwards I just kept wanting to listen to more and more, so I guess I just got, I grew like an interest in him. Yeah, that's pretty much the song that made him like, you know, who he is Sorry. today. Uh -huh. What's the reason for enjoying his music? There's The thing that I like the most about him is that he tends to rap and sing about many different things, mm -hmm. whether it's personal or, like, something that has ever happened to him. So I think that we all could, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like relate? Or, yeah, we, yeah. Can re all, we can all relate to it. Mm -hmm. And um, is there, like, a certain era you prefer? Like, he started off with a mixtape called Room for Improvement. Then it was comeback season. There was So Far Gone. Where it was like a lot of anger. There was Thank Me Later. There was Take Care. And then recently, like last year, Nothing Was the Same came out. Was there like a certain era you preferred? It's okay if you like all of them. <laughs> I honestly loved all of them. <laughs> well, I my favorite one was Take Care. Yeah. Definitely. That, that was a good portion. It showed like who he was and everything. And um, many people say he's a better singer than he is a rapper. What's your opinion? Like, do you think he's a better rapper than a singer? I have heard that many people disagree mm -hmm. that they think that he's a better rapper mm -hmm. or maybe he's a better singer. I honestly think he's both. Like, he's really good at both, mm -hmm. but I prefer him rapping. <laughs> yeah, I think I think when he's rapping, he gets a lot of his like most of his emotions out. Like, yeah, I feel more emotion comes out when he's and rapping. he's more he's more confident with mm -hmm. himself when he's rapping. Yeah, and um, well, in his lifetime, he's been with like numerous of women. There's women who are in the game like Rihanna and like Nicki Minaj. There is like friends from like Toronto that he grew up with that he fell in love with like who do you think who do you think is like the perfect like match for Drake <laughs> who's the perfect match I'm, I'm kidding no. um you see that's really hard because Drake is a really famous person mm -hmm. now especially he's growing with his music he's doing mm -hmm. many different things so I feel like it's hard for him to actually fall in love with someone because mm -hmm. like there's so many different things you have to worry about like yeah. do they really like me for me or yeah. are they just after me because I'm famous and I have money yeah. so it's really hard to actually tell you like who's mm -hmm. the right girl for him mm -hmm. yeah also like with him he's been through so much and he's come so, such a like long way and he has so much so many emotions that you wouldn't mm -hmm. expect from a guy that like I think you know who would you prefer though Nicki Minaj <laughs> or Rihanna um, since those are the from two what, from what I've heard top from what I've heard, um, Nicki Minaj comes from New York. New York girls know what they want. They're like, they're, they're like the boss. They always have to like be in control. <laughs> she puts him in his spot when he starts acting wrong, and he is he's admitted to that. And they had a, like a fallout because of that because um, he was just acting like the wrong way. And she put him in his spot. I think he needs that sometimes. <laughs> not gonna lie. So I'd say like probably Nicki Minaj. Um, out of his old girls that like you know he grew up with, I'd say Jade because Jade. she has it together. She's the only one who has, like, a legit job that isn't, like, club hosting yeah. or anything. Like, I think that's really she's important. She's a wedding then. planner, yeah. But that didn't really work out. She has someone now. Um, did you find yourself listening to his more upbeat songs on certain days or his slower songs on, like, other days? Like, um, what do you find yourself listening to more? 
I feel like when I mean I tend like I try to be like in a good mood every single day. Mm-hmm. So when I am, I try to like listen to his upbeat songs. Mm-hmm. But when I'm having like a really bad day or whatever, I do listen to some of his like you know kind of sad mm-hmm. songs. But then later, mm-hmm. I just I mean I listen to both because I love him no matter what. <laughs> yeah, like he he gives a good balance of both. Yeah. If you were a hater, <laughs> oh, God, God. what wouldn't you like about him? Like what would you say people like might not like if about I him? If I was a hater. I would say his confidence yeah. because he's so confident now <laughs> and he knows what he wants mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't like that. Yeah. They always try to bring him down and that's just not going to happen. Yeah, like coming up, he used to like consider himself vulnerable mm-hmm. because he's a Canadian actor who wants to, who's like a rapper all of a sudden. Like, of course, it's not going to transition well compared to like, you know, someone who came from like the hood or like mm-hmm. tough places. You know, he grew up from, he came up from a middle family, like middle class family. And... Yeah, I think I think that's it too. Like, I think people have a problem with him being confident because they they want to knock him out of the yep. way, but they can't because he's confident. And um, do you have a favorite Drake lyric or <laughs> lyrics, <laughs> or is there like a song that like um, might like all the um, all the lyrics? <laughs> I like all his songs. I love his music. Um, <laughs> wouldn't say I have a favorite lyrics, but my favorite song would be Draft Day. Oh, yeah. And Trophies. Yeah, I love Those two are my favorite songs. Yeah, those are really good. Um, Like in um, Draft Day, he says something like, sometimes I laugh with God about how you can't stop. Yes, that's the one. That part was just like the beginning was perfect. That's the one. (laughs) And um, is there anyone you would like to see Drake collaborate with that he hasn't yet or... I feel like he's done so many different things (laughs) with so many different artists and I like that about him Mm -hmm. because he's tried different things and like, He's always coming out with, like, every single song, and every song is, like, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. So, um, I wouldn't know who to say. Mm -hmm. I feel like he worked with every single person. (laughs) With, like, Trey Songz, um, Jay-Z, Beyonce. (laughs) Like, there's just so many artists. Yeah, he's gotten to work with, like, big-name artists since day one. Mm -hmm. Like, I find that really amazing. Like He's really lucky for it. Mm -hmm. And... Do you think Drake is well on his way to becoming a legend? Like a hip hop legend? Like up there with like Jay Z or like Nas? You see, when I think <laughs> of legends, I think of like Tupac yeah. and Biggie mm-hmm. and, you know, Nas. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if he keeps working really hard, he will get up there. Mm-hmm. It's just really going to be <laughs> tough, but I can definitely see him up there. And I recently added this because it just happened yesterday. Well, I've been knowing about this. I told you before it even happened. Oh, God, I'm a little nervous. Um, the Drake and Lil Wayne tour. <laughs> we got to go to okay, it. Like, we're, we have to go to oh, it. Oh, yeah, we're like, definitely going to go. Oh, wow. It's just the fact that it's going to be Drake versus Lil Wayne. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't like Lil Wayne. I do like some of his music. But let's be honest. Yeah. I think Drake is just going to take that. It's funny because this is something that he's been planning since, like, 2010. He said he wanted a sound clash. Mm-hmm. So he wanted, like, he wanted people to basically, like, he wants to make it competitive on stage. He wants you guys to see, like, what happens, mm-hmm. like, within, like, the group. We have to go. It's only $150. Like, We're going. <laughs> and when is it? It's like, this, it's, like, in August, right? Yeah. I really want to go to that. <laughs> um, I would like to end the show with a quote from Own It. <laughs> when was the last time you've done something for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> like Last night I tried some raw oysters. Man, that boy growing up quick. That boy know he this shit. That boy singing on every song when he know he could spit. That boy manifested it. That boy knew it was written. That boy did it. <laughs>